Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino and we're drinking a beer. Today's beer, right here, it is from Tatamagooch in Tatamagooch, Nova Scotia. And it is the Two Rivers Baltic Porter, which is an 8.6% alcohol by volume beer. So, I love porters. I'm not usually a big Baltic porter fan. And I think my main reason for not liking Baltic porters is the ABV. Because a porter to me should be a nice, easy drinking, lower ABV beer. And a Baltic porter is usually a go fuck yourself, I'm going to be 7 and up. Uh, doesn't usually taste bad. Doesn't usually taste bad for me. It's just not usually the style of porter I levitate to. I usually levitate more towards the, the English porter. Um, but hey, we all are who we are and we all like what we like and that's, that's all that matters, right? So we'll pop this here beer open. It was a nice sizzle as she opened. We'll grab my jar, my canning jar here. Chad, when you moved from the Arctic, how did you get a bunch of glasses for your beer review? Well, I went to the dollar store and I bought a bunch of jars. <laughs> and I went to, when I worked for this company, I went to their uh, their clearance section and I bought some cyclone, uh, these would be their cyclone jars. They're basically just fluted jars. And then you have your regular mason jars. But I mean, when you can buy six mason jars for... 10 bucks or you can buy each glass at the dollar store for two to three bucks mason jars are the cheaper way to go and i was just trying to start something up right these ones were in a four pack for 10 bucks plus i got 20 percent off as an employee at the time so eight dollars right so i got two dollars a jar in there kind of nice little jars right a little bit of head a little off white a little sort of mocha tiniest bit of snap crackle pop uh the beer is like a deep deep amber or possibly ruby um it, it looks black on the camera though but i'm just saying what's coming through the bottom when i look up at the light scent from the jar chocolate caramel a little bit of cherry that's about it out of the bottle chocolate cherry caramel a bit of coffee. And there's something weirdly sweet on the back end. Okay, we'll, we'll take the two rivers and we'll hold it up here just like that. No, we won't. It's just not going to work, Matt. Can we? No, we can't do that. Um, yeah, I need to I need to go back to my, my spot, but uh, there's a lot of stuff on the stairs right now and I could move it, but I'm in the middle of putting down some more flooring, so I just decided to leave it for now. Cheers, let's try it. Now, that's 8.6% alcohol. You're basically drinking a bottle of wine here with this giant guy. I don't mind this. I don't. A little bit of cherry nibs. A little bit of chocolate. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of alcohol astringency on the back of the palate, and a little bit, mm. I don't want to say it because a lot of people think of it as a, as an off flavor, but it's not an off flavor in this, it's mixed perfectly well, it, it's a little bit of like butterscotch, like um, almost Werther's Original, right at the very back, mixing with the alcohol astringency. And a little bit of like coffee and chocolate. That is such an easy drinking beer. And it's an easy drinking beer for an 8.6% alcohol Baltic Porter. Like I would not have expected this to be this drinkable. That is easily 
easily a very, very dangerous beer because it's so high in ABV and you just wouldn't realize it. You wouldn't. You'd just be like, oh, I'm just drinking a beer. Oh, it's so good. And then you'd be like, I'm on, the, I'm on my ass on the floor. Like, it's, it's interesting. Out of 10 on this, sorry, I'm just looking at what else I need to do for, out of 10 on this, I'll give it a 775. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.